Hey there, Chase from High Level here with a quick tutorial on how to use the domain forwarding tool with the new forward path option. So before we get started, just a couple of basics that I wanted to cover when we talk about URLs. We use terms like root domain, which is basically your site dot something, your site dot com, right? And then we have paths. So it's your site dot com slash something. The slash something is a path, right? So the pages of your site all have their own paths. Then we have subdomains, which is something.yoursite.com, which we're not really gonna talk about today other than the fact that www.yoursite.com is a subdomain, meaning that subdomains are seen by search engines like Google as separate websites. That means Google sees www.yoursite.com as a different site than yoursite.com, which causes duplicate content issues, right? So Google doesn't want two websites to have the exact same content out there because it means potentially somebody's plagiarizing someone or somebody's copying someone, something's going wrong there. So what's the solution? Well, it's to use a permanent redirect, a 301 redirect to basically tell visitors and search engines that, hey, this domain right here actually exists over here, so let's go ahead and send that user right over there. So once you have that set up, if somebody goes to www.yoursite.com, they get redirected and automatically taken to yoursite.com or vice versa, depending on the way that you configure the redirect. Now, a common challenge is that redirects by default don't automatically include paths. So if you set up a redirect for www.yoursite.com to redirect to just yoursite.com, but somebody goes to www.yoursite.com slash contact, maybe they save that page in a bookmark, maybe they clicked a link or something like that, they're going to be taken to www.com slash yoursite slash contact, they don't get redirected. So this creates a problem, right? Because what are you gonna do? Go redirect every single page of your site? That would be cumbersome. But the solution is that we can just use the old asterisks. So we can permanently redirect one domain to another, including all of the paths, by just using an asterisk, which we've built into the setting that we're gonna check out in just a second. So once you set it up, if somebody goes to www.yoursite.contact, they will automatically get redirected to yoursite.com slash contact. So let's take a look at how we would do that. If we hop into high level and we go to the domains tab, we can see that I've already added both the domains, right? I have the non-WW and I have the WWW here. But again, that means they exist simultaneously as two separate sites and I wanna redirect one to the other, including the paths. So if I go to URL redirects, I can now add a redirect and I can choose the domain that I want to redirect. So I want anybody going to www to be redirected to the non www and Instead of URL, I can choose all, and that's gonna redirect all the pages on that site, right? All the paths, and now I just choose the target domain, and that's the one without the www. And you can see when I chose all, it grayed out the path. I can't specify a path anymore, and it automatically inserted the asterisk symbol, which means all pages. So if I go ahead and hit add, it's gonna create that redirect, and then when I go to any page on www.themiscalledtextback.com, it's automatically gonna to redirect to the corresponding page without the www. This is fantastic, because if you've been working with domains for a while, you know that this can be a real pain. Some domain registrars like godaddy.com and a bunch of others don't even give you the ability to do this, whereas others like Google Domains, which got sold, uh, and Cloudflare do, but you have to create a rule. But now you know how to take care of this quickly and easily right inside of high level.